Last request of the night. Uh, Elasure Altschul sends in Blur Angel Sparkling Silver uh, by the artist Quiet Light. And that's all the information we have. So we're just going to jump into this and see what happens. Uh, essentially. So couldn't find it on title, which is really weird. Let me Let me try again. Let me try again. Yeah, hey, I found it. All right, perfect. So, uh, looks like we have 15 songs, 30 minutes, and not really any information, so let's just jump into it and see what happens. Here we go. You know that I've stayed. First song. I forgot my water. I'll be right back. Here we go. strange start i mean it's the song that's two and a half minutes it feels like a minute long um the sampling is kind of strange at first but picks up and becomes something very uh, psychedelic now let's keep the trip going i went to the community pool smiley ball for that first song
favorite song, Whiplash 2. Damn, they made a sequel? Hey Sharp Baby, this one goes out to you. Moby Dick on the beat, all here. Let's go. These two tracks feel like they're nice little fresh ideas. Like, here's the thing, is this album immediately, the only time I'd return and listen to this is if I was going to fall asleep to it, which is a compliment. And up to this point, I feel like the vibe that it's setting is quite nice. The first song maybe is a bit abrupt to that, uh, with, again, the sample or whatever, but I'm not going to fall asleep within 30 seconds. I like these next two songs that follow, as I feel like they're just sort of aesthetic slices. Uh, maybe not the most impressive as songs, but the sound and all of it combined is creating something nice so far. Smiley ball to the current experience. Let's see where it goes. HR Baby. Hey, Char Baby, this one goes out to you. Moby Dick on the beat. All here. Let's go. Moby Dick on the beat?
Thank you. Oh, it's a very princess dream lady. Hourglass. <laughs> I love that it jets out of the way. Something feels like a fever dream so far. I love this command so much. Lottie make this? It's an experiment. <laughs> somewhat incomplete like this one for the title i expected something a bit more adventurous view of city though you're just green you're just green this album stumbled on a spotify and fell in love i am curious as to it's 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 about the album experience and not the individual songs right because together it all creates something that's quite trippy and fun to follow along with um, but the individual songs feel like they could just have more going for them like they they sort of rest on an idea and then just sort of let it fade out which, there are plenty of great albums that do that. Best example, J. Dilla Donuts. You know? But, like, at least with that album, it, it, it was, like, so distinct between the songs. Here, it's kind of just a, a fading memory throughout all of it. Like, I'm just sort of getting pieces of a puzzle. Which, also, at the same time, if it works as a full album experience, is going to be just fine. In fact, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, but I'm just in a current moment where I'm enjoying it, but slightly skeptical. I look really healthy. Thank you. I feel very healthy. I'm eating good meals. By the way, I, I want to say that this rehab center that I'm going to, they give you free lunch every single day. And the lunch is so good. Like, it's a hospital, dude. And the, the food they serve is, like, genuinely amazing. So, actually, that's why I'm staying an extra week, you know? For the food. Palaces to view the city and the location of Hustle to come. Both. Liam, you were dressed in the coldest shade of green that I've ever seen. And next time, it'll be different. Next time, it'll be different. I wouldn't say it feels cheap. It just 
kind of feels mentally rushed. the rundown I'm hoping this is an actual rundown track You know, that one actually kind of took me under a little. Uh, it took me under a spell. I sort of feel my skin, like, flexing. Is that a word that exists? It's like, um, it's, it's a floaty feeling listening to that track. Something very psychedelic about it that I appreciate. I'm going to say that was a standout. A smiley ball for me. Um, I'm hoping we get more tracks like that that are sort of payoffs to these short songs. Uh, because that kind of felt like this very quiet and subdued version of some of the previous songs, but a little more flushed out, or at least stuck stuck around a little bit longer to feel complete. Which, again, kind of works as a payoff. That's a nice payoff, so I appreciate that. Somerville. <laughs>
Despite it being super simple, uh, this 11.17 p.m. track, I love the vocal chops here, as it's so abstract and there's nearly no percussion. Uh, it's just that little click that kind of keeps tempo, um, but I love the sense throughout this. That one was really dreamy. Very good song, Smiley Bull. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare! Hi, Maddie, this is your landlord. The AC guys are at your door trying to get in. I don't know if you're at home, but... Uh, the car's on fire, cool. and there's no driver at the wheel. Like this car alarm that went off. 
conversation. Okay, I get it now. So, having songs uh, the way that this album does creates a, a feeling of a lack of catharsis. Um, in the same way that a lot of the movies that I've been really enjoying recently kind of have a lack of catharsis in them. Um, it's essentially to create something that feels incomplete, but then there's these moments here sprinkled in uh, where it actually feels, like, like this song, for example, like a full experience. That is the resolve. It's sort of cinematic in its presentation. Uh, you might be like, Bradley, you're reading too much in I don't think I'm reading too much into it. It's a 30-minute album, and it seems pretty cut and dry on its formula here. It's giving small little pieces with not much resolve, and then a song that really kind of just sinks you into it, uh, which actually is really nice. I appreciate that. <laughs> Getting my nails done, getting my hair. I step out and I. Wait, what did you say? I step yeah, everyone out and everybody stares. Everyone. Getting my nails done, getting my hair. I step out and everybody stares. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay. What's the next? They all say I'm the talk of the town. Uh, <laughs> Becky, there, she's such a clown. Yeah. 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 One could have been left off the album. It's probably ball the previous track though, before Essex Rap.
nice little outro, a nice little end credit. So this is a sweet little project. I like it. It's not mind blowing. I don't feel like it has the same sort of feeling as something like Capri songs, which kind of gives a similar sense of pop and melody and psychedelia. Um, but it's a lot more complete feeling. This kind of feels like fragments of ideas sort of collaged together into something that is artistically um, valid enough for me to say, yeah, it's a decent experience. Um, do I love the album? Not necessarily, but I'd say overall I'm pretty positive on it. Um, I will be listening to this one again probably within the next 24 hours at some point uh, to see if something changes or see if I have a review in me to write about it. Uh, but as of right now, this thing, it's all right. I'd give it a light smiley ball, and I'd give it about a 6 plus. Um, yeah, like 6 plus. Kind of what I'd feel with it. Even though I don't necessarily think there's... I mean, maybe the Essex rap was very whatever, but... Like, in general, I think that it does enough right. I think that it's a decent enough experience where I'm like, sure, I get it. I like it. I think it's listenable. Perfectly acceptable.